can't put her finger in the trigger. Well, do right. That's bullshit. Hey, welcome back, fellow collectors. I was uh, trying to think of like some kind of like, like you know, funny, witty thing to say. Like it was gonna be like, "Hey, welcome back, fellow Iron Willed collectors of soldiered oldness or some stupid shit like that." But I'm not gonna do it. Anyways, hey, welcome back, fellow collectors. I am your host, Brave, and this is Brave's Toy Review. And today, this is the biggest upset for me ever. Not like ever, but just ever for today so uh <laughs> i've just i've been really wrong guys i've been really wrong on a lot on a few things and now i'm wrong yet again so my belly is full of crow this is tfc's old soldier iron wheel uh os01 there is what you can see on the box um this is i guess uh what is supposed to be their masterpiece line uh we know him as iron hot and we're going to get into it but i have to say fresh out the box i have to apologize to tfc i've been shit kicking you i've been shit kicking you and i've been wrong <laughs> i've been wrong the packaging is different from other tfc packaging you've seen in the past typically in the past you see and i'm going to show you these guys just for example and do I have to do this? No, but I'm doing it because I want to give this guy a bit more attention. Every aspect of the work that TLC put into this, I want to make sure I showcase it here. So here you can see the early packaging from uh, from the Hercules set, and you get the little window box, blah, blah, blah. Here you got one of the Uranus figures in the box, of which I also have for sale. Um, blah, blah, same type of deal as far as the packaging goes. All right, so what you have here is a much more sleek, much more stylized um, box. And some people don't care about box. I care about box. We're two minutes and 47 seconds into this video, and I'm talking about the box. Really nice dot matrix graphics across the top. You have some um, nice vector line work at the top and bottom, which um, harken you back to the design that ultimately is on Iron Wheel. On the side, you get a nice dot matrix of Iron Wheel there with that same design going across the side. On the back, you have a nice product shot of Iron Wheel and his alt mode. Top corner, old soldiers. OS01 Iron Will. And at the bottom, you have warnings and stuff. Age of 16 and up. I've said it before. No 16 year old is going to be getting this because they play video games. TFC logo. Check us out at more information down here. A bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. Yay! And then on the bottom, you can take a look at their medic, who is the same mold with a few different, with some different graphics and paint. So, who we do be. Uh, warning! Please check the instructions with your product. Oh, wait, stop. Before I rush through it, this actually is important this time. Please check the instructions before using this product. You are going to want to, and I'm going to point that out when we get to the product, okay? But yeah, that's the packaging for the uh, Old Soldier's Iron Whale TLC figure. Hooby, dooby, let's go. When you get your figure, you get your uh, little... Uh, you get a little baggie here with all of his extra stuff in it as far as his uh, directions and stuff go. This is what I want to point out. And this is actually in two places. You get it here and you actually get it on the figure. Caution for that headlight. And it's, I'm glad they did that. It, it is a necessary, a necessary, a necessary documentation in this because this is scary. Of this whole figure, I, this is the, the largest point of contention on it for me. That thing there okay so yeah good job you get that you get this little card the card is not the best quality but i mean what do we really do with these cards you have iron will on the front on the back you have his little tech specs and all of that stuff with the tfc toys good job 
and then you get a direction sheet. Uh, TFC, as far as I know, still haven't got to the point of doing um, comics in their stuff. Maybe they don't need to. We really don't even really read them. But um, this guy is like a, th I think he's like 34, 38 steps to the transformation. Ugh, it's upside down. Uh, yeah, 38, 38 steps to the transformation. The rest of this stuff is weapons and stuff like that. The, tr the uh, directions are pretty good. These pictures are kind of small, but not so small that you can't see them. So that's pretty good. Not as bad as, uh, other iron hide, uh, renditions. I'm looking at you there, courage potion. So yeah, that's pretty straight. That's pretty decent. All right. Now, when you get your figure, it would seem as if TFC has, uh, not only decide to step their game up, but they're taking notes from other companies. And I'm, when we get to this, you'll see why I'm really thinking they're, they, they've employed some help. <laughs> they've taken that money they've been making and they've employed some help. Okay, so he now, they now come, he comes in a, uh, this little styron packaging, much like you get from fans toys, <laughs> you know, in the back. It says TFC, it's just the engraving. And it's pretty decent because it keeps the guy nice and steady, okay? When you open up the sarcophagus-like uh, foam, here again, you see that little piece of paper telling you to be careful for that window thing because it could break off. And then you get the man, Iron Will. And I got to say, I have got to say, you got to pop his legs out of place because they're held in place by tabs. He's not perfect. He's not perfect. But he's good. <laughs> he's good, fellow collectors. He's good. He comes with these weapons. I'll get to the rifle here in a minute. You get uh, this little uh, pistol, which you flip his hand inside, and then you peg it on there uh, via that port. And it's just a single cast, some nice line work on it. No paint on it at all. Um... Yeah, it's just a single cast piece. Nice line work, nice detail. Little vents there on the side and such. It's, it's pretty cool. Not, nothing too spectacular, nothing too... It's, it's cool, it's cool, it is what it is. Then you get this other uh, pistol here. Yet again, single cast. Um, you do get a little bit of paint on this, a little black here, a little black there. And, that, and I appreciate that, that's pretty cool. It's got this line here for whatever reason, I'm not sure. There is a problem with the weapons as far as the holding. Not saying that it's not solid, it's just... There's a little deal there, and we'll get to that when we get to the uh, hands or whatever the case is. Now, here's the rifle that he comes with. Um, you may remember seeing some of the images on, um, on, on the internet where Prime is actually holding this. Um, it's a pretty dope weapon, single cast of plastic, uh, some paint here on the scope, red bits there. Some black in here, uh, like that. Look at that. Then you have that line deal again, which makes me wonder if these things can be plugged somewhere in some strange fashion. I just don't know. But I like the scope of the weapon. This is the the part of the weapon that really bothers me, though. Um, the the muzzle suppressor or whatever it is, it's uh, it's kind of crooked. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way or not. But I was trying to twist it earlier, and I felt like I was going to snap something. So it's it's. That's the way it is. So, hey, if you get this guy and yours like that too, uh, let me know. Hit me up, all right? So, the weapon line work is really, really detailed. Pretty good. I really like that. It's not a bland bullcrap weapon like some other Ironhide renditions I know. <laughs> you know who I'm looking at. Okay, so, for these... If you want to put the uh, little deal on, flip the hand in pop that on and it's really snug it's not going anywhere right on this other side and this is the funny part we're going to get to it okay so you see that slot there and while i'm at his hands let me point this out he has articulated fingers all digits right but only on one hand on the other hand it is um the four digits on one pin and that's just weird on this hand all of the finger, t all of the fingers are individually articulated. Then he has a peg there on the inside of the hand that fits into this slot here. Goes on without a problem. Oop. With hold on, it goes on. Ah, 
Mother fricker freaking. Okay, so with the weapons, they fit, but then there's a weird thing here, okay? Because this hand here has articulated fingers on all the digits. This one is a single pin on four digits. I'm not sure why they did that. It, it Messing around with it and getting to hold the weapons, it kind of gives me the idea that maybe they had this concept first and realized that it was problematic as far as holding the weapons go and changed it for this one. Because you'll notice that inside of here, there's a peg. Inside of here, there's a peg uh, for the weapon to slot in, right? The problem is with this particular pistol, it the, the handle is not very long. So it doesn't work very well with this hand. And because these fingers are individually articulated, he ends up not holding it. So it, it, it basically gives you the idea that that pistol should go inside of this hand, which is the hand that is um, not individually articulated, but at the same time, it has the, um, you can tell it has a circular design there to hold the pistol. And when you put when you put this pistol in this hand, oh, he holds it like a champ. It's not coming out. Now, this hand here with the uh, fingers, which are kind of irritating because they're just so flippity flippity, <laughs> whatever flippity flippity means. He's got like arthritis or some crap. I don't know. They're just really, they're irritating. The fingers are irritating. I give them that. But I give them kudos because they were trying to do something, um, take it to the next level, I would guess. So, yeah, that's kind of irritating. All right, so you've got a peg in that hand. You've got a slot there. So this weapon would fit in that slot. When I did it earlier, it went in without a problem. So I'm not sure what the deal is now because it's not cooperating. Oh, there it is. Maybe I did something wrong. Oh, you know what it is? I had the hand twisted up. Okay. No, it's not the hand twisted up. It just sucks. Okay, I want to get this guy some credit, but this fucking hand is pissing me off. <laughs> this hand is a problem. Uh, TFC, you're good at making upgrade kits. Upgrade that hand. Go back to this. This is not working, okay? This peg, that handle is not long enough to go in any hand, but this hand, this peg, maybe I can trim some of this off. I don't know, but it's just not, it's not working. So that's problem number uh, one that I'm going to point out for this guy. But it's not, uh, it's not a, it's not a, a deal breaker so far because I'm pretty pleased with the rest of the figure, right? I, 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 I just, I'm just being honest, especially after dealing with the old courage potion there. Okay, so he has these pegs here, so you can actually take this weapon on, on both arms too, and you can plug it in there. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. So yeah, it's there. And there's a peg on the back here. And it doesn't say that in the directions. Because as far as I can tell, there's no real true weapon, weapon storage. But you can do it. Uh, you can plug this here. Messes with the... It makes the backpack stick out some. Messes with the uh, waist swivel. But you can do it if you so choose to. I just don't think it was intended for that. And I don't see any reason why you would want to do it. The head scope is not the worst. It doesn't look like Ironhide. Uh, maybe IDW, uh, maybe Studio Ox. I, I don't know, but it doesn't look like Ironhide, but it's still a good head scope. I like the head scope. It doesn't have any pouty lips. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. So I can give them credit for having a nice head scope with nice light piping, uh, a little bit of black paint there. And it's really sharp. It's clean. It's not too squished up. It's not too flat. You can't see it past that big shoulder block there on the side. Uh, you can spin it all the way around. So that's pretty decent. It seems to be on a ball, a ball peg, a ball joint or whatever the case is there. The color choice is really nice on this guy. I like the deep, uh, I like the deep red, the deep brick red there um, with the silver bits here and there. Silver splashes of paint here and there throughout the shoulders. I really like that. And then you have some black in the vents. It's deep down in there. So the line work is really deep. The shoulders are really blocky. It's not as bad as it looked online. Let me say that. It's not as bad as it looked online. They are blocky. It may, if you're not a fan of this design, then you probably will still have issue with those blocky shoulders. But I am here to say that it's not as bad as I thought it would be um, holding it in hand. 
the line work is really nice and for some reason it's reminiscent of what you see with fans with i'm sorry with warbitron um these little vent things fold up they're I, I, as far as i can tell they're mainly to cover these sliding um these sliding mechanisms here for the transformation of the shoulder portions there they uh didn't have to do it. they could have just left this out and just have that crap up there and you can see the shoulders but they didn't do that so it's pretty cool um you got a little bit of silver paint there some nice mold work check that detail out i like the little rivets there that's pretty cool right um you get the windshield here and it's a clear windshield but it's a it's a, it's a tenant windshield so it's clear plastic so uh you can't really see into the figure on this one anyways uh as far as I've seen in the images of the uh, medic, you can see into the chest, but I think even then there's a backing on it so you don't get deep inside and see all the mechanics or whatever the case is. Some silver there on the uh, windshield wiper is pretty cool. You come down here, you have a nice little chromey silver there. Um, cr chrome there. Uh, problem here with the chrome is it kind of gets in the way of the pegging on this for the transformation. We'll get into that when we get the transformation. You have the headlights there. That's pretty nice. And a little spot there. I think you put the Autobot symbol there. And then you got some black paint here and some more detail there. One of the funny things about it is because of the transformation, these have to slide back here. So he doesn't have the shoulder articulation here other than the ratchet of that, right? Nice little soft ratchet. It goes all the way around. You have your upward motion there. And that as well is a soft ratchet on that. You also get a spin here and it's tight. It's kind of squeaky. That's cool. And then you get a bend here. This, it feels as if it has levels, but I really believe it's just friction. So uh, it would have been nice to get a ratchet there because that weapon, that rifle is pretty heavy and it seems to be the weapon arm, right? Okay, on the back, you can see on the sides of his forearm, you can see the windshield, I mean, the side windows there and that's cool. And I think that's a clear plastic as well, um, a tenant up against the base of this so you can't really see through it. You have uh, this flat back here it's a little bit of kibble, but it's not so bulky that it hangs off. Kind of like, remember with the eye gear, um, iron hide and ratchet. So the ones that drape up to the back, back here, you don't have that here. So that's kind of cool. More of the, ev more evidence of the truck there. Right. So yeah, that's cool. And, um, let me give it credit because when we get into the transformation, you'll see that it's a really neat package. It's a really neat package. The way they bring it all together. He cleans up. Well, I mean, look at the back. You don't have any real backpack just this piece here and if you remember the eye gear if you even think about the voodoo which i showed you in an in earlier review i don't know about the um uh, we don't know about the physical evidence of the um mp yet but from everything i've seen i it looks atrocious so atrocious atrocious you can't talk right can you no so yeah that's that part there but he's really reminiscent of the eye gear but he just cleans up so much better it tells you where we are now okay then you get this gray here with the yellow there breaking now, this is from the transformation you can see well you could not tell because there's no wheels anywhere the way they conceal it is awesome but um you got some gray here yellow paneling there um you can get if you slide this up like that and it doesn't even it doesn't make the backpack stick out at all if you slide this up you can get uh, a full range of motion in the uh waist right or you can bring it out to flatten it but i really think it's meant to be like that so yeah that's cool i like i dig that backpack man uh let's get down to the crotch area you have some gray here he can also you have to bring this out a little bit but you can get some upward motion here. So it's like a reverse ab crunch deal there because of the transformation. And you got gray there with some great detail in there. If you can see that at all, because it is a flat gray. All right. On the crotch part, on the cod piece or crotch piece, whatever, you have individual flaps really tight here, here, there, in the back there. Break up this white here. You have the deep brick red there, 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 and there with some really great line detail all the way throughout it. This is this is definitely not it doesn't feel like a TFC toy to me. Not at all. I would I mean if it wasn't for the fact that this came from TFC, I would not believe that this was TFC. Okay, so as far as articulation in that in the lower region, you get if you move the flaps up, you can go all the way up. You can go all the way back. You got a nice soft ratchet inside of here. It's kind of a universal joint because you can go all the way up on a nice ratchet there. Now, here is a problem with that. And we've seen it with a few figures thus far. That's the first click. That's the first click. And that's the hard part about doing um, ratcheted 
ratchets in that joint in in the uh in, in the crotch area or upper thigh now another problem with this guy is because of how small the feet are and they're and they are the base of them the ankle portion is articulated but you don't really get a rocker out of it right unless you want to use this side as the foot which you can do if you so choose because it actually makes more sense except it makes this portion of the leg it makes the thigh look a lot thinner right and it makes like you got the pigeon toe deal but if you want to give them the voodoo look on the feet you actually can do that right and then you can get Mm, or can you mm, nope sorry even then you still can't get really get a rocker out of it so i wouldn't recommend doing that but if you feel like the um the actual foot part is too small then you can actually use the heel as the foot i just i don't like the fact that that heel is so freaking big but it's not so it's not so much that i would hate to figure or anything like that it's just a problem when you have them out one click so yeah there you go now you have articulation here nice ratchet nice ratchet nice strong ratchet it's just a problem with the feet so i don't know that they could have put some more thought into that but it's still not a deal breaker because i'm still pleased with the figure <laughs> get down to the lower portion more great detail and line work look at the inside of that leg get a little black there to break a ball of the red Oh, it's just so much, so much line work in there, dude. It's crazy. You got the chromy chrome there from the bumper, from the uh, rear bumper, I think that is. You got a little bit of silver there. It's so much detail work there. Flip this panel up. You got the yellow going down. A little bit of, uh, what is that? A little bit of a uh, joint rub there, but it's not something that I hate them for. But it is it's really cool. You got a little bit of black there from the, what would be the sliding door of the actual van. And then the bottom, you can see here, you can see the uh, rear view mirrors of the truck. So, all in all, the design is pretty solid. The line work, the sculpt work is pretty solid. These pieces here are so scary. They are terrifying because I feel like at some point, that's not, that's not the thickest stem there. This post is on, it's not very thick. It does not, it's not articulated, it doesn't spin, it doesn't come out. I just that's really really scary and I'm afraid that it will break at some point and apparently so were they because they gave us that warning remember caution because that crap I think at some point if you're not careful you're going to break it you can just see that he's really clean he's really bulky he's a really hefty guy I just don't like the, I, the fact that he's so stiff here it's either out there or it's in here, and I I don't like that, but he still looks good. He looks great, and that's just I'm giving him a pass on that. And this and, and that's just my opinion. You may have a different opinion, but I'm giving him a pass on that because the overall package of the figure is really good. It's really good. So I can't I can't uh, hold that against him. I wish they would have done a better job, but I can't hold that against him on the foot because we didn't really cover that too much. Like I said, you get a spin around here. The heel is on the double hinge there, so uh, that's that. Do with it what you can. If you can do anything, do it. Uh, I don't I don't recall what his size should be near Springer, so I can't say. Look at this shit. Let me go ahead and point this out. Roughing them up already. Check this out. It's already bending. That's going to break. This is a bad deal. This will cause me to dislike you guys. So, uh, I, I don't know. You better, you, TFC, you better fucking figure something out because that's a problem. And it's not enough for you to say caution, bro. That's, that's not, mm -mm, that's no good. Because once those snap off, there's no repairing it. There's no replacing it. That's, that's, that's problematic. Here he is against his arch rival, the V version, Courage Potion, uh, because we have yet to get their uh, actual Iron High. So here he is against their supposed Diaclone. And um, so you can see the Voodoo Toy uh, figure is just, I mean, it's apples and oranges. He's way bulkier. He's way taller. He's a little more agile looking, but he suffers from some of the same flaws when it comes to the uh, the stiff standing or whatever. But at least he has, you know, the little ankle pivot and uh, he can lean his ankle and all of that crap, ankle rocker and whatever. And he doesn't have that. That's a fatal flaw for this guy. So um, and also you have to worry about breaking that. So. 
but that face sculpt is so far behind that face sculpt. It's insane. So, I don't know. Make your choices if you're still holding out for the um, MP. Hey, do that too. I'm getting that one as well. You have this little deal here, which is kind of like a, I guess, a sonar tracking thing or something like that. And then on this hand here, you can... I advise you lift that up first because then you can reach this and you can flip it up. And there's this little keyboard monitor, maybe repo labels and make some stickers for the inside of that so you can actually like a, a computer screen or some crap like that. But that's cool. This is very, very scary. So yeah, that's all the goodiness of the robot mode. He's chunky, baby. He's chunky. There he is next to MP10, who uh, supposedly... Let's see something like quick. It's supposed to be able to uh, hold his gun. That's kind of loose in his hand too. So, what's the picture I saw? He was like holding a rifle or some shit like this. I don't, I don't really understand why he would be holding this rifle, but nah. That's, that's, yeah, what, what is the point of that? Who cares about that? There he is next to MP10. Optimus, his best friend, his best pal, his best buddy. That's who we standing next to. So, yeah. Now, Optimus, what would you do? Who would you choose, Optimus? Who would you choose? <laughs> Got issues. So, yeah. Here he is next to a whole slew of Autobots from, uh, and giving you a nice range. You got your masterpieces back there. You got your fans toys right here. You got your uh, fans project right there. Just to give you a nice range of, uh, and let's just go ahead and bring this guy back into. Just so you can get a nice range of size and different uh, manufacturers. I'm not sure what your collection is like. My collection is kind of a, a, a melding, a melding pot of everything to make the overall cast so this is how i do my stuff and he scales really good i like that i like that a lot let's bring in old good old b you near b you near b there you go now b's pretty tiny but b's pretty tiny next to everybody so there you go b i like that i like the way he scales i i am i am seriously impressed with this figure and i, I didn't think i was going to be I talk so much crap about this guy. It's, it's really funny, man. Um, uh, based off of this figure, I think I'm in to get the ratchet. And that's crazy, but I think I'm in to get the ratchet. I can't believe that. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for what TFC is doing and where they're going. I just hope little small things like this, little small design flaws like that, and that rocker down there on the on the foot, I hope they can... I hope they, they, they grab that and they fix that as far as um, how those same flaws might apply to future figures. Uh, obviously, they're not going to have this issue with any of their future figures because they're not doing any more advance, I would assume. But that rocker down there, that ankle rocker is a problem and uh, you, need to, you need to check that there, TFC. But kudos to you for this. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I, I apologize.